good evening and welcome to True Dove Man Encounters. I'm your host, Marvin Allen. If you or anybody that you've known have had a sighting or encounter and would like for me to share it on my channel, then please contact me. I would love to hear from you. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. Like, comment, and subscribe. As you all know, I won't take up too much of y'all time. Anonymity means a lot to me. And I break that for no one. So, without further ado, let's jump right into this encounter. Now, this encounter right here comes from an eyewitness that said, he had caught a flat and he didn't have a spare. And he said he was somewhere on 95. So he was pulled over on the side of the road, you know, tried to use his phone to call somebody, you know, to come out. He talked to him. They said they would be out there, never showed up. He said he watched cars go past, no one stopped to help him or nothing. He said so he goes and he sits in his car. Hours pass. Still nobody shows up. He says he winds up falling asleep. He said, and when he wakes up, it's about 11.30 at night. And still, no one came to help him. So he gets out, stretches his leg and stuff like that, and he smokes a cigarette. He said, and while he was standing there smoking his cigarette, he caught a whiff of this foul odor, like something rotten. And he said to himself, what the? And he looked around, but he didn't see no, no dead animals on the side of the road. So he's standing there, and he finishes up his cigarette. Stand there and he looks down, he sees nothing. Looks behind him, sees nothing. He says, so he was getting ready to get back into his car. He said, just before he opened his door, he heard Crack. He turned and he looked up into the wood line. But he seen nothing. He heard it again. He opens his door, he gets in there, he locks everything, made sure his windows was up. He looks out his window. He still don't see nothing. He said after a few minutes would pass, he seen some yellow colored eyes just up in the tree line, low though. He said, but these eyes were huge. They was big. They was not small like on a regular animal eyes would be. He said, these eyes were big. And he's saying to himself, what the is that? So he continued to look. That's when he said he seen the eyes drop down behind this bush. And he paid it no more attention. He stepped back again, 
And he said he wind up falling asleep again. He said, but this time, something would wake him. He heard the car or felt the car moving like something was bumping it. Boom, boom, boom. He wakes up, he looks, he sees nothing. He looks over on the passenger side window. He sees nothing. He looks behind him. He sees nothing. Paid it no more attention. Set back. Closed his eyes again. This time, after a few seconds, boom, it did it again. The car just rocked. He looks out his window again. Still don't see nothing. Just when he was getting ready to look over out the passenger side window, he heard this loud sniffing sound. And he said to himself, what the f is that? He said he just heard something just sniffing. He said that's when he seen something that shouldn't exist. He said he seen this large, large, wolf-like head come right there at the passenger side window. He said when he first seen it, it was facing straight. He said then it turned and looked in right at him. Breathing heavy, nose fogging up the window, and then it showed its teeth. It said the teeth were just long and sharp, every one of them. It said this thing just kept looking in at him, and he kept saying to himself, what the f is that? He said that's when he... Leaned his seat up because he had it leaning back. He raised his seat back up. He continued to watch this creature looking in at him at the passenger side window. He said that's when this creature began to walk was on all fours. Now, mind you, it was on all fours. It walks. It walks around to the front. Then it goes around to the driver's side. And it stops. And it looks right in at him. Then he said, this thing raised up a hand. That's what he said it was. He said this thing raised up a hand. Boom. And hit the driver side window right where he was at. He said the hand was just huge. He said then he just dragged his hand down and they tried to open the door, but he had it locked. 
said he put his hand back down. And it walked towards the back. And he said as it was walking towards the back, boom, it bumped the car again. It rocked it. See, that's when he looked out the back window. He said he seen that thing place his hand again on the trunk. And then this thing stood up on his hind legs. He said when it stood up, he said this thing was just tall. He said this thing was just tall because he had to bend down and look up out the back window just to see the head of it. He said it turned and walked back up. He said when it walked back up, it placed both hands on top of the roof of the car. And he said he started just shaking it, shaking it. Said he was just shaking it, you know, viscerally too. Just shaking it back and forth. Then it stopped. He said it started walking towards the front. He said then it stopped when it got right there where the tire was at. And he said, this thing started to sniff again. It sniffed. And then it walked down about 20, 30 feet. Went over into the ditch, reached down and grabbed what looked it like a dead raccoon. He picks it up, turns, and he walks back towards the car. It stopped. Right there in front of it. And it looked down at him. It looked down at him through the window. And it took one hand again, he said, put it on that hood. And he shook the car again. Then it walked around to the passenger side. He said, and when it walked around to the passenger side and stopped by the window, he could see headlights coming up his way. And there's a truck. He could see it coming. He said the creature turned and it looked in the direction of where that truck was coming. He said then it took one leap and leaped over into the tree line and ran up in there. He said when the truck get up there, it stops. Stops gets out, he gets out, he asked him, he said, is, is you all right? He said, yeah, I'm all right. He said, what, what was, what was that thing, or what was that standing by your car, and it jumped? He said, man, I don't know what it was. It, it looked like a werewolf to me. He said, yeah, he said, I, I don't know what it was either. He said, but I, I know that thing had a big head on it. So the guy called in, you know, waited with him till somebody came out, which they did finally. 
you know, to help him get his car fixed. And when they fixed his tire, he left. And when he left, he noticed that he forgot something. He said he left something. So he turns around and he goes back. And when he goes back, he looks but he don't see what he left. He said he had a bag that he had put just on the outside of the car. But when he looked, he didn't see it. So, made a U-turn, turn, to, you know, to go back in the direction where he came. He said, and as he was driving, because he wasn't driving fast, he said, as he was driving, he could hear something running through the tree line, like it was following him. And he would look over and he would catch this dark, silhouette of that creature just running through the tree line keeping up with him he said but when he got to that curb turned on made that round that curb and that creature stopped and he kept on and he went home he said he never saw nothing like that in his life. I, and I asked him, I said, why Why would you go back, you know, for, for a bag? I mean, what did you have in it? He said, I had something in that bag that I was going to give to my wife. Because her birthday was coming up. That's why I went back. You know, I didn't argue with him or nothing like that because I don't know if it was something expensive or nothing like that. So I understood what he was saying and, you know, he just was trying to get it back, he said. He said, but it was gone when he went back down there. And I asked him, I said, do you take that same road? He said, I take it, you know, quite often. But I never saw one of those creatures again. He said, that thing looked like a giant wolf. A werewolf. I asked him, did it have a tail? He said, no, it didn't have a tail said, but that thing was just massive and cut up. He said, I don't wish this on my worst enemy to see or to run into. So that was his encounter. I'm going to upload that. And um, if I have time, get ready for the next one. Let's get it.